Hey everyone, welcome back to Puzzle Pieces with Puzzle Agent. I'm Miro, and on the last episode we saw the creepiest gnome ever, and now we have to hunt him down uh, right after we fix this kind lady's furnace. So, um, there's a guy out here that stole some pipe, and we have to get it from What him. was that thing? What happened? Did it try to eat your ear? If, if two rows are white and rotations affect orientation, then, then, huh? Since Bo's brain got scrambled, all the in inputs end up in the pit of perplexity. Drag and drop arrows into all empty slots to redirect his stream of thought to the light of lud lucidity? We have to make him lucid? Pit of perplexity, brain tubes, light of lucidity. Drag arrows from the menu to each of the highlighted spaces. Your mission is to direct Bo's thoughts from Nelson to the light bulb. Stream of thought will move in the direction of any arrow it hits. The brain tube must cause the stream of thought to bounce off at a right angle. Oh, so this is like the other puzzle we did, maybe? Okay, so... Oh, can we only put it in these squares? Okay, so it goes this way. It hits the up arrow. Um... Causes it to bounce off at a right angle. Well, wouldn't that do it then? Maybe? Uh... Hold on, I don't quite understand. The brain tube will cause the stream of thought to bounce off at a right angle. So it could go this way or that way. So if it goes that way, oh, we only have... Hmm. Stream of thought goes... we put this here then the stream of thought will go this way and then bounce off either there or there Can we just double that up make sure so we have to get every stream of thought maybe so like every one of these boxes has to be filled I think that'll do that one um, I'm not quite sure how a stream of thought would make it clear over here. Let's say that it goes up from us and then up and then up. That's just going to end up in that pit and then we can't do anything about it. This puzzle is weird. Direct Bo's thoughts from Nelson up to the light bulb. Will move in the direction of any arrow it hits. So this has it going just into this square. Any right angle would just bounce it back up and then over. Or bounce it up, bounce it over, bounce it down. That loops it back in. Let's put another one of these here, so just in case it escapes, it loops back in again, maybe? Right, because that would just... Let's try Hello? that. Oh, it can't, like, hit itself? That would have been good to know. Did it say that? I don't think it said that. Okay, so it can't happen twice. So the way that that went was hit this one, hit this one, hit this one, went up, hit this, and then hit that again. So we're gonna have to go do, 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 up. This is gonna hit it right. This is gonna hit it down. Ooh, then it's either gonna go this way or that way. Both those ways are bad for us. 
I don't like that. All right. Now we've got a little bit better idea of how this works. That one has to be that way, because if we put it the other way, then we're just screwed. So... I think... Oh, no, maybe we can... No, because that won't... Hmm. <laughs> How do we... Bounce it in there. And then... Maybe if we just avoid using that square. Hit here, hit there, hit there. Hit there, hit there. That'll just shove it back down and it probably won't like that. Hmm. All right, hint it is. The stream of thought will need to loop around before arriving at its goal. Well, I mean, that makes sense. understand the purpose of this spot because we never there's never a way to get to this spot we go here and it automatically goes up we don't want to put this arrow there because then we're gonna shoot it into the pit so that has to be there I guess it could be nothing Oh my god, this hurts my brain. And I don't understand. I guess I'm just gonna have to keep getting this wrong until because I need to see the line and see where it's gonna go. There's no way to predict which way these things will spit it, right angle-wise. Let's try that Hello? and see what happens. Oh, it needs to have one. Okay. Every square needs to be filled. Another good piece of information. Taxpayers are gonna hate me. All right, so that has to go that way. But then maybe it can go this way. Down. Let's try that, Hello? see what happens. See, that goes straight into the pit. Do. Ugh. I'm sorry, taxpayers. It's for a good cause. It's to fight the gnome army. Hello? That worked? That was allowed? It wasn't allowed last time. Whatever. Last time I couldn't use the same pipes twice. All I know is that I feel really bad for Bo because of that's the way his brain well, works. Well, that He's was screwed. a very interesting puzzle, but... The whispers of the moon crashed too loudly. The whispers what? Clear the path. Another gear. Hmm. Take this now. Someone oh. looks okay. What happened? I got your pipe back. Let's finish putting this back together. Uh, okay, back to the stove puzzle. Okay. 
Okay, I kind of like that. I don't like any of that, though. Oh, that's okay. Do some of that, maybe. Uh, nope. There. There, that works. Down. Down again. Over. Back around. Uh, nope. Over, back around, and in. Okay, and then this one has to go into... That looks good. No, this. There, I think that's good. We're gonna be the most wishy-washy agent ever. Some good, some bad, mostly bad. They won't know whether to fire us or promote there us. There you go, your stove's all fixed. I thank you, Mr. Tethers. You FBI types sure are handy. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Of course. You seem relatively coherent. Do people ever talk about seeing, um, little people in pointy hats? Oh, the hidden people. Yeah, it's an old Nordic superstition. My grandfather used to tell me stories. They say they live among us in the ground, trees, rocks. But I just know the ones that live in my window. Was Mr. Scruffman working here on the night of the accident? Yeah, the fence outside was a terrible mess. I think some kids were trying to rip it down or something. Did it take him long to fix? Oh yeah, all night. If you're still looking for suspects, I'd start looking at that Bjorn fella. But you didn't hear that from me. Oh man, she doesn't like Bjorn. Can you tell me anything more about the hidden people? Oh yeah, tourists love the stories. But Bjorn and his friends take them very seriously. Oh? Oh yeah, they don't like the decorative gnomes in my window. Oh, okay. I guess we should... Maybe actually try to I'd talk to him. I'd better not. No? I'd better not. Okay. He's just batshit. We're gonna talk to him. Let's go talk to Bjorn then. I'll take that gun though. Thank you. So gross. Well, Mr. Scruffman's alibi checks out. Mike Lobb is dead. And I just saw living garden gnomes. I think I'm gonna head back to the diner and have a chat with Sheriff Bob. Oh yeah, that's right. I thought I forgot that the sheriff was super suspicious too. Um, the one's missing. Time to go to the diner. I checked up on the repairman. He was working at the hotel on the night of the accident. Alibi checks out, huh? He's in the clear. He couldn't have been involved. Have you looked into Bjorn and his friends? He seems to be an avid environmentalist. Perhaps the accident is a political statement. Nah. Bjorn's always been a major part of this community. Since even before my badge was pinning up my diapers. You wore a sheriff's badge on your diapers? This is a community that celebrates its Nordic heritage, Agent Tethers. Not one that advocates violence. Have you heard about this hidden people superstition? Hidden people? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh. You had me going there, Tether. A government agent investigating elves and hippie legends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, how'd you go in there? Yep, just a joke. Sounds like you have had a busy day. Let's wrap it up for today and start fresh tomorrow. But you haven't really done anything. And we're no closer to getting that factory up and running. Agent Tethers, I'm not from the big city. Around here, we take our time. Keep our heads clear. As far as I can tell, everyone's heads are filled with puzzles. 
Puzzles are a way to keep yourself from asking questions you don't want answers to. What does that mean? It means I'll see you in the morning, Agent Tether. Oh, okay, okay. Um, let's go try the gear on the factory quick, though. Oh, that's some gum for me. Thank you. None of these gears fit on this door. None of these gears fit on this door. What does that mean? What about the gear we got? Can we not? There's probably no, I don't think there's like an inventory. Oops, there was gum back there. Too late. I guess we go to sleep? No? I still don't know how to get to our room. I never just figured that out. Help one. Oh, Marcy Mus Muskrats got after school jobs at Hank's window shop, but they can't skip football practice. Help complete the pass without breaking any glass. Help complete a pass. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I see. Okay. So. This guy to this guy, this guy to. Oh, that might be a stretch. This guy to this guy. Who has it to start with? Hold on, who has the ball? Should we, do we just connect them all? Hmm. I'm not crazy, right? None of these guys have the ball. This guy can't really reach anybody. Oh, I guess he can reach that guy. Get rid of that line. the only guy that guy can reach. Here, here, here. But then how the hell do we get it to that guy? Break all the glass? <laughs> all right, here, 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 here. Ah, okay. This one right here. So here, 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 here. Oh, that looks good. Takes care of that one. Um. I guess maybe we try to go talk to some other people. This game has been holding my hand as far as where to go for so long. Now I, I don't know what to do. Oh, Those chairs here. weren't here before, were they? Nope. One of them Nordic guys brought them in right after I ordered my pie. Pie that I'm still waiting for. Hmm. Something odd about them. Something spray painted on the stack of etcher chairs. Arrange them to discover a secret image. Oh boy. Oh boy.
on, I think I want this chair. No, that one does go there. That one doesn't go there though. That one also doesn't go there. That one? Yeah, that one goes there. I guess that goes there? What am I looking at? It's a complete disaster. I, oh my god, I can't even, okay. Seriously though, what the hell am I looking at? Uh, this is starting to look a little bit better. I guess that's it? That at least makes some logical sense. I think. I don't really know what that was. Tell me what the hell I just saw. That image you just made? That's the symbol those large guys use. Really? Interesting. What do you guys know about Bjorn? You mean the old hippie who spies on people out by the hotel? He's one of those old Nordic guys who hangs out at the lodge. Brothers of Skagens or something like that. Brothers and weirdos if you ask me. Lodge, huh? I'll check it out. Alright, I guess we're going to the lodge then. Bjorn is starting to look more and more suspicious. I just got a tip that he holds secret meetings in a local lodge. I remember seeing something about a lodge on my Skagen's map. I wonder if it's the same one. Time to go. Uh, lodge. God. There's some bright orange cloth caught on this sign. I wonder if Mike Lobb was trying to get away from this place in a hurry. Oh, it's from his vest. Let's check out this Looks puzzle. like someone doesn't want me to see what's going on inside. Well, they probably shouldn't have made this a puzzle then. Draw a single straight line from one red dot to another that will slice through every barrier blocking the window. Oh man. That one won't get it. Uh That one might might get it. Oh, I see these chains are like double up. That won't get that board. Um No, that won't, won't, that won't get that board over there. What about that? No, that won't get that chain. Hmm. That won't get that chain. 
That one gets that chain, that chain, that board, that board, that board, not that board. Damn it. Um, they all kind of intersect like right around here. Maybe if I do a straight up. No, then we'll get that board. Straight up over here. No, that misses that chain. Crossed here. No, that misses that chain. Right through here. This one to this one, maybe? Oops. That one, that one, that one. Nope. I've done that multiple times. Won't get this one. <laughs> so it has to cut across here. Here? Oh, it just nearly misses that. Um, that doesn't give that chain. Well, that might do it. We got the brown chain, we got the wood plank, we got this wood plank, we got that plank, we got that plank, we got that chain, we got that chain, and we got that chain. I'm gonna call that good. Watch me be wrong. Nice. Now we're a peeper. What in the world? Uh, you want a good look around, you might try knocking on the door. Sheriff Bob! Oh, you startled me. Snooping doesn't suit you, Agent Tether. What are you doing here? What the heck is going on in there? They meet regularly and celebrate their cultural traditions. But that's their business, not yours. Okay. There's something about this crew that seems off to me. Agent Tethers, you're here to get the factory back open. Not to question or belittle the beliefs of the townsfolk. These guys are very protective of each I'm other. I'm pretty sure I saw Glory Dabner in there. The waitress? I doubt it. She was standing right there a second ago. Time to go, Agent Tethers. I'll escort you back to the hotel. Make it an early night. And turn in, Agent Tethers. Never. I don't want to see you out here again tonight. And trust me, you don't want to be out here either. What does that mean? Sheriff Bog definitely isn't working with me. I'm sure I saw Glory Davner at the lodge. That's not suspicious at all. And now Glory Davner is sneaking around town. I'm going to follow her. I think we will follow Glory on the next episode of Puzzle Pieces and try to find out more about whatever this town is. Uh, thank you all so much for bearing with me through some of those struggle puzzles. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time for another episode of Puzzle Pieces. Bye!